So we did some local dodging and burning in the last uh, video. So that was the before, zoom in a little bit, before, and then after the local dodging and burning. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of global dodging and burning, so I'm just going to do another um, layer. Again, I use the Retouching Academy panel just because it sets the layers up for me really quickly. Um, and so I've named my previous dodge and burn local dodge and burn. And so now I'm on to dodge and burn, and I'll just call this global. Open that up. Again, I've got my curve layers, um, one for burning, one for dodging with the black layer mask, and I'll paint on the mask in white. Um, so the idea with global dodging and burning is just to add um, a little bit of dimension to the face, just to enhance what's already there in some cases. Um, so we tend to darken the outsides, those kind of areas. And maybe into the cheekbones a little bit. Um, she's already got darkening well along the chin, so it doesn't really need any, any contouring there. Uh, and then the areas that we would lighten would be maybe in the middle of the forehead, down the nose a bit, apples of the cheeks, um, the chin there, lips, some of them on the top of the lips. Uh, so we're just sort of enhancing where the highlights are already hitting our face. So I'm going to do this from a bit of a distance. I don't want to be too um, zoomed in for this. And again, just 1% brush. And I'm just going to... No. Oh, sorry. Ignore that. I'm going to make sure you've got nothing selected. Because if you've got a selected area, it's not going to let you brush. 